Good morning. What kind of things are you working for? A strange question for Christians to ask, you might say, but maybe not. We're in 2 John, verse 8. Look to yourselves that we do not lose those things we worked for, but that we may receive a full reward. John said it. Now, this is part of this section here between John 7 and 11, which is the main section of the epistle. We've talked about that. Uh, we talked about the Antichrist in verse 7, but now he says, look to yourselves, and that's kind of like a problem to begin with, right? Looking to yourselves. Christians don't look to ourselves. We look to Jesus. But what, what John is saying is that we have a personal responsibility to look to our own spiritual space to make sure that we are, we are seeking out God. We're seeking the spiritual life. Why he wants us to look to our own self-discipline, our own self-responsibility, that God has given us so much power by his grace, we are to put that to the use for the gospel. So we are to look to that and be actively about our Father's business. We are responsible. He's given us talents. We are to use them. So we're not really talking so much about salvation here. We're talking about, yeah, maybe the salvation of the, of the whole church. Uh, what we do and don't do is going to impact the, the ministry of the whole church, but but he wants us to look carefully to give some self-examination in the light of the cross, self-examination in the light of the scriptures, so that we know we're tracking with his teaching. This false view about Jesus that's been taught by the Antichrist and deceivers, that's threatening the spiritual experience of the whole church, of believers and leaders and everybody. So he says, look to yourselves. Take a look in the mirror. Make sure you're, you're doing what you know you need to be doing. They need to be spiritually alert against the idea that Jesus did not experience the same kind of humanity that they have. Jesus came in the flesh. We saw that already. And they've got to be watchful and guard that point. There await us a thicket of strange theological viewpoints that are imposed onto, the, onto and into the text. Be sure that someone who's teaching false views about Jesus some of these people are very decided antichrists and deceivers. So he says here to work. Look to yourselves that we do not lose those things we worked for. What did John work for in the elect lady? He wants that congregation to, to grow up to spiritual maturity. And this is a threat, a threat to that. Whenever we reduce Jesus, it's a giant threat to Christian experience. So if we seek God, and yes, work, it says, we can interpose between the congregation and these issues and help it to be firmly grounded in the Word of God. And the way that the church can most successfully work against false teaching is to be a faithful teaching church, to teach the Bible, to teach people to look to the Scriptures and to examine themselves compared to the Scriptures, examine every teaching, put it up against the Scriptures and see how does, how does it fit. So in contrast to being deceived by antichrists, God's plan is that we receive a full reward. A full reward. We see that we see as many of our brothers and sisters in faith in the kingdom as at all possible. That will be the fullest reward we can ever have. So how can the members of a congregation receive their full reward? If the leaders, the many leaders in a congregation will teach God's truth from God's word we'll all see the full reward. Oh, it is It is not pie in the sky. It's a beautiful plan for your future and mine. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you've exposed the plans of the enemy already ahead, Lord. Help us to be diligent in the Bible. Always, Lord, help us to seek out the truth, the truth about Jesus and all the truths that are in the Bible that pertain to your gospel truth in these last days, the present truth for these closing hours of earth's history. Lord, help your churches to be faithful. Then the elect lady and uh, her sister church, which we'll see when we get to the 12 and 13, we will all receive that full reward. Oh, Lord, may it be so. May the brothers and sisters watching this presentation, may they receive their full reward in short order, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So keep on laboring to help your fellow believers on the heavenward path. And God be with you today.